kind of like an eye. If you look at it as the sun is rising just above the horizon this morning, looking east, but you can see all the cloud cover overhead right now. Uh, so the sun will get lost in the clouds here shortly. We're going to be mainly cloudy to start our day. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, 67 right now with the light southeast breeze. Dew point low 60s, at least at the moment. It's going to go up. Uh, later on today, but for the most part 60s to start off your day 68 in Fremont 67 Lincoln 66 in Red Oak, Iowa muggy meter. Well, it's going up today as I alluded to earlier setting it at steamy dew points can be climbing into the upper 60s. So you're going to feel that air, especially this afternoon and especially if we get a little more sunshine right now. The cloud cover overhead still some lingering showers near the Maryville area, but this is part of a system that has brought devastating flash flooding to the St. Louis area in five hours picked up more than seven inches of rain and it's still ongoing. Some spots picked up close to 10 inches of rain overnight tonight. So a scary situation uh, in the St. Louis metro area. Back to the west, we are seeing this little cluster of storms moving into north central Nebraska approaching O'Neill right now. And if these can hold together, it may bring brief shower, maybe a rumble thunder up to the Norfolk area here over the next couple of hours. Expecting uh, just cloudy skies here in Omaha that will limit heating early on today. So only in the mid 70s by around lunchtime, expecting some of those showers to fizzle out a bit. Most of the afternoon, I think will be dry, though there is a chance we could get a little pop up shower, maybe a brief storm ahead of this cold front. Better chances are going to come this evening, as you see, as we get closer to eight o'clock, so really after seven o'clock, better chance for some of these scattered storms to develop. I think if you're heading down to the fan day at Memorial Stadium, you'll be OK, though chances will go up after the event concludes and maybe some brief downpours, some brief heavy rainfall, not anticipating severe weather, but maybe a few gusty winds and some tiny hail with some of these stronger storms as this cold front moves through. So by around midnight, one o'clock, most of the activity done in the metro as the front pushes south we will be clearing up and not really cooling off behind the front, but the humidity will be knocked back down and not sure too as we go through Wednesday. Still going to hang in the mid 80s. Most of the daytime hours are dry. Another chance for some overnight storms Wednesday night and then much more pleasant to finish off the week. Low humidity temperatures in the lower 80s, but then that heat is going to start to creep back in by the end of that seven day forecast next week. We'll see those 90s back with us.